Warzone is an absolutely amazing game. Ever since it came out, I can't get enough of it. Now, if you're like me, you might be playing Warzone on a PC and you might be getting this annoying error. This DirectX error is becoming the bait of my existence. It's driving me insane. So what I did over the last couple of weeks is I went online and I searched everywhere uh, for the best fixes that we could find to get this up and running. Now, a couple of these work for me on different PCs. Some may or may not work for you, but I'd like you to let me know if any of these work for you at all. And I hope it does. So here we go. Here are the DirectX error fixes I found for Windows 10 Warzone. And we'll get started right now. So before we begin with all the fixes, let's take a look at the basic troubleshooting and get that out of the way. First, we wanna make sure that all your Windows updates are completed. Next, we also wanna make sure that your virus applications are updated and BioNet is updated. And lastly, you wanna make sure that your video card is installed correctly, securely in its spot, and all the cables are attached properly. I know these are very basic and simple steps, but you'd be surprised how many times this can make a difference. Okay, so let's look at fix number one. And that is to reinstall your video card drivers. So it doesn't matter if you're using an Intel card, Nvidia, or AMD. We wanna make sure that your drivers are completely up to date. And if they're corrupt, we wanna reinstall it. So uninstall your video card drivers, go to the manufacturer's website, download the latest drivers and reinstall it. The DirectX error is software related and it's on your computer. It has nothing to do with the network. So we have to start up source number one and that's gonna be the video card. Fix number two. Now fix number two is gonna be run the Battle.net as admin. So we're gonna run the Battle.net app as admin and the first thing that we wanna do is go to the icon on your desktop or the icon in your start menu, right click on it and go to properties. Now inside properties, you wanna look for the compatibility tab. And then near the middle of the screen, you're gonna see run the program as administrator. We need to check that, hit apply and okay. Test it out, see if it works. If not, restart your computer. Now for this step, you definitely have to be admin. So you have to resign in as administrator. Fix number three, disable full screen optimizations. To disable the full screen optimizations, we have to right click on the Battle.net app, go to properties, and then again, we're gonna go over to the compatibility tab, and then go down to disable full screen optimizations and check the box. Hit apply and okay. Open up the app, try it out, see if it works. If it doesn't work, restart your computer and try it again. Fix number four, scan and repair the Battle.net app. Now to do the scan and repair, we want to open up the app, go to options, and then go to scan and repair. Now in here, we can see that scan and repair, the installation will take place. You just click on begin scan, and it'll start scanning and trying to repair any bad sectors that are in the file. Now this can take some time depending on the speed of your computer, how much RAM you have, how fast your computer is. So I would leave this for a bit, go get yourself a coffee or a drink and come back. It could take 10 or 15 minutes. Fix number five, use DirectX 11. Now to use DirectX 11, we're gonna go into the Battle.net app, click on the options icon, then go to game settings. And we wanna check this box here. So we're gonna add additional command line arguments. In here, we're gonna type in hyphen D three D one one. And you can save the changes by clicking on the button at the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to close out of the app, restart the app, and then test it and try again. So we're going to close out of the app. We're going to shut down the program. We're going to reopen the program and try it out. If it doesn't work, reboot and test again. So here are the five fixes I found that work for me. It's helped others. And I want to know if this is going to help you and I hope it does. Let me know in the comments which out of the five worked for you because I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to help out other fans of Warzone. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. If you like to see these fixes and you want to see more, please subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.